So, cubers, this is the orange cube. And just before we start, it's best to have a good old look at it to figure out what is what. Now, you've got this big bit. I'm going to use this on the bottom. I'm going to solve it like a 3x3 three three layer by layer method. And I'm going to have this on the bottom. But as you can see, it's it's off to the sides. So this is like one of the one of the corners. And it's the biggest one. It's the biggest piece there. And there's three centres. These three centres are all larger than these other three centers so you need, really need to place this piece in between the three large centers and in between those three large centers is these three oblongs and you can when we um, mess it up you'll spot these a mile off they're so much bigger than all the other pieces opposite this this um, triangle this corner is a smaller triangle that's the smallest one and both of these two bits will go in either way any way around doesn't matter but then you've got two bigger triangles here that will only go in one way. And if we go to the bottom, the top, what's the top? You've got this piece here that's like divots in, and the three pieces around here, um, they all divot in, so you can't miss these either. Um, and these around, this is put around the the centres, three centres that are smaller, so they don't protrude so much. Also on the top, you've got these two, which is obviously linked with this bit, these are all the same, but these two are different pieces, and they'll only go in one way, so trial and error with the six pieces that are left, um, i.e. not these three pieces, and not the three pieces on the bottom, just put pieces in, if they don't fit one way, try it the other way, if that doesn't fit in, then get another piece. So, without further ado, let's get it mix on this, and see how we get on solving it. Okay, it never takes much to mix this up, but as you can see, like I said, that piece is the biggest, you cannot miss it, and then this piece, you see these these uh, edge pieces, they're so big, they're the ones that are going to go next to this, so what we've got to do is find a centre to put our, our bottom, one of our bottom corners on, now obviously that, you can see, is too big for this centre here. What I'm looking for is the centres that are poking out, like this one here, you see this great big wedge there, there's a wedge there, and there'll be a third one, which I think is this one here, yeah. So, in between all these three is where we want that that core piece to go. And yeah, it's uh, sometimes difficult to not slip with this cube. Okay, so this piece is going to be in between these. And what I'm going to do is orientate it so that it's um, this this centre. I'll bring it down. We'll bring this centre around where I think it needs to be there so that fits there with that yeah and then we need to do the same with these pieces here but we'll deal with that in a minute first of all we're going to do the first layer so to get this piece in here correctly I'm going to bring it along along I'm not worried about moving this I'll bring this back later okay so that piece is there and I know that I want the other big one of the other big pieces is one of the big pieces here so bring this around it's not not orientated correctly so there's another piece here see if we can get this one in yes so those two pieces are in there nice and correctly and um, what we need to do now is find the other two pieces that fit in here to complete our white cross okay that piece doesn't go in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and turn it around see if it fits in the other way and it does. Okay, I feel that feels great. What we'll do now, before I go any further, is I'm going to orientate these with their centres. Okay, and already, as you can see, I've moved because I'm losing myself. So that one needs to be orientated with that. That's fine. This is the other big piece. So these are the three big ones that we need to make sure everything's correct with. So I need to orientate this. Okay, so moving my big piece out, turning this center trying to match it up just keep turning it bit by bit till it matches yeah this is once again it's more about feel than look okay so those two are correct um, we've got this piece in place but again that's not it's not orientated so take that down just keep turning the center until it's correctly orientated And this piece isn't in correctly, it just doesn't feel right. 
don't worry about that bit for the moment. So I'll try and fit that piece in. In the top. Making sure we put our other bits back. Right, that doesn't feel right, so we'll put a, a different piece in. There's a piece gone in. That's nice. And and the centre. The centre is feels good as well. So there we go. So we now got a white cross, yeah, and it all feels good there. So you feel it with your finger and you feel them all with their, these centres as well to make sure they're orientated correctly. So now we've done the cross and we'll get all these pieces in. So you can tell that piece quite clearly needs to come here into this massive gap here. Okay, look at it sticking out there. You cannot fail to see that okay bring the bring this around and just put it in it'll go in anyway around here this one's gone in anyway and we need to put this this is a big one it's in the correct the correct place but it's not orientated correctly so we'll just do this um, right inverse down inverse right down do that twice and see if it fits in yep that's fitted in so now we need to find another a big triangle to go in here that's a small one. This looks like a big one. Yeah. Okay. So that is your bottom layer done. Fantastic. We need um, to do our, our second layer. So we know which piece needs to come in here because these are the three big centres. We need to put the big, biggest edge piece in here. And it would only go in one way. And there it is over here. Okay. So I'll put a bit of junk in there to get that out. If you pull the pieces in the right place that you know where they need to go, then you've got less pieces to worry about um, getting in the wrong place. So again, there's the big piece. And I know because that's big there, I'm going to put it in, using this move, putting it in to the left, from here to here. There we go. So... There you go, our second layer is coming together already. And I know opposite this, so one, two edge pieces round. The piece that needs to come in here is, now this is the wrong piece in here. Somehow we've we've uh, got the wrong piece in here. We need to put a small a small triangle in here. It's okay, easy rectified. There we go, that's good. Our piece is still there. We need round here. This piece here is in upside down. So what we need to do is put this piece in. It's got a little bevel in. It's got that's going to be the piece that goes the other side of the bottom bit of the uh, of the orange. So this piece with that little bit deviting in, put it in here using this move. So we're now going to put this into the on the right. Okay, so that's that piece in. So that's that piece in. And that's that piece in. So we've just got to put in these two pieces now. I sometimes just, just have a look and try and put this in. I'm going to try and put this piece in and see if it, it fits in. Okay, that did go in. If it didn't go in, I'll just take it out and it'd end up here and I'd, I'd put it back in again try it in the opposite way around if not try another piece and it's just really the trial and error getting the right piece because you um well, it could be this piece i don't think it will sometimes i've noticed that when i turn it to here if it fits there it means it's going to go in there um nothing's really fitting there at the minute other than the wrong piece because i know it's not going to be this piece and i know it's not going to be this piece Okay, I'm just going to try this piece to put it in here. If it doesn't, I'll try and turn it around. So, do the usual move I do to get these second layer parts in. And that's gone in. Really good. If it didn't, like I say, just take it out, put another piece in, and trial by error. There's only three or four pieces left that you can put in there. Just try them and get them in. Now we're on to our top layer. And what do we know about the top layer? <coughs> um 
got this Beverly bit that goes in here. We've got, we're going to try and go for our, our white cross. So I know this bit's correct because it's facing towards where this piece would go. Yeah, you can see that divvy bit there. We're not worried about the, these corners yet. So that piece is correct and up the right way. There's another piece that goes here just like that and like that and it's here. So we'll bring that round. Yeah, that's up the right way. So we're trying to get, yeah, the white cross. So we, so we need to know that they're orientated correctly. So that's orientated correctly, that's orientated correctly above these two corners. Now we've got these two. So we've got to try the other two pieces that I haven't got the bevel on and see if they'll fit here. No, they don't. And you just have to think about it really. So because those two bevel bits are correct, that's just like having the white line. Yeah, we've got the, we know that's the right center and we know that these two are the correct way up. So we'll hold it like this. And like this, what we would do, we would do um, front, sexy front to try and get the cross. We're going to do the same with this. Yeah, so we're going to go front, sexy front. Okay, and now to check, um, got to find the correct spot, which is here. See, so this one's correct, and this one's correct, and in fact, they're in the right places as well. So these two are correct, which means the other two must now be correct, and they are, okay? Because you've either got, like I say, you've got two, two, or four, or none of them will be correct. So now we've got all four, we know, now no, we've got a yellow cross, believe it or not. I'm going to sort out the centres now, so I'm going to put the centre in place, and I'm trying to position the centres first before orientating the centres. Um, centres, corners, so this is a corner, I know that's correct because it will go in any way, and there it is above its beveled, beveled pieces. Now, this one is correct, because it's a small piece, that's correct. But that's a big piece, and that's a small piece, and they're both in the wrong place. So I'm going to do a move, which is a referee move, is what one I do to swap these two plate pieces here. Okay, It may mess around some centres, so I'm going to do, right, front, right, back, back, right, front, right, back, back, right, right. Okay, now we're going to check those centers again, um, corners again. So we've got that's correct, yeah, that's correct, that's correct, and that's correct. And not only that, they're all orientated correctly. So, that's everything in the right place except this centre here. I believe this is 180 degrees out. So what I'm going to do to get that over to there um, is I'm going to do a move which is right inverse, upper inverse, right, upper inverse. And you do that five times. We'll do it five times and uh, we'll see if this orange is fully correct. So right inverse, upper inverse, right, upper inverse. So that's once. One, Two, three, four, oh no, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, done. As you can see, there we go. Without much fuss at all, we have done it by a process of elimination. It's just like a three by three. As long as you just concentrate on the last bit, get a three by three if you start getting confused. Okay, what I want to show you is if, when, when, when I positioned these t um, corners, uh, you see this one was correct here, this one was correct here. They're in the correct place, we've got them in the correct place, but you can see this big one is the only one um, that really needs on the top layer, which is why I leave this to the top, because it's the only one that needs to be orientated. And sometimes it won't be orientated like that, so you're going to have to orientate this. What I'm going to do is a right inverse, down inverse, right down move. Um, you're going to have to do it with another piece as well. Okay, so we're going to do that right inverse, down inverse, right down until this one is correct. And then we'll bring this piece in and carry on the move until the rest of the cube fixes itself. Okay, so it's a very simple manoeuvre. What I'm going to do is go, so we we'll keep an eye on this one as well, yeah, make sure you don't lose, lose track of it. So do it twice and it'll come back up here. So right inverse, down inverse, right, down, right inverse, down inverse, right, down. Okay, we've done it once, it's not worked, so we do it again. Right inverse, down inverse, right, down. Right inverse, 
down of us right down okay now we've done that twice and that is now that feels good yeah so now we're going to bring one of these little pieces in and we'll just move the top piece bring this other piece in because it doesn't matter which way around this piece goes okay so we do and it will that what it will do doing this and move again one more time is going to fix all this so right inverse down inverse right down right inverse down inverse right down it's important to do that last last down move okay so that's fixed that with this and now we just orientate the top to where it was and the big key is obviously this piece here get this piece above its divot and there we go that's what to do if your corners aren't orientated correctly and yeah there's the orange still completed fantastic so another problem you may have when you're doing the last layer is yeah you've got your white cross as you know they're facing up the right way you've um, put all your corners in the correct place you've positioned all your orientated all your corners but you're gonna have a problem where these aren't in the right place even though they're the right way up it's just the same as you'd have on a three by three we've done the yellow face okay and you'd be in this U perm scenario or a H perm, yeah, You've got U perm here. So, just like you would on a three by three, do a U A perm or U P B perm, whichever you do to solve this problem. So all we've got to do is switch these three pieces here, okay? And I know that this piece needs to go here because it's got the little bevel on it, and it's so it goes next to this indentation part here, like at the bottom of your orange. So I know this needs to come to to the left so I'm going to do um, the UB perm go that is the orange completely done just using a three by three using process of elimination to figure out which corners needed to switch and then realizing um, which of these I used the UB perm there and there is your orange complete now once you've done your U perm what you could end up with is um, some centers that are flipped and i want to put in the descriptions below how you get out of those there's, there's one algorithm that will turn one um, center 180 degrees or two more algorithms that will um, turn your your front center and your left center anti-clockwise or clockwise okay other than that it's just a three by three Okay, I've taken this orange apart just so we can get more of an idea of what's going on inside. Now there's three centers that have got these thick pieces on here, you see, and you can see them here. So there's three there, and on the opposite side, there's three pieces that are a bit thinner. You can see they're not as thick as that. Okay, now around those go okay, this larger triangle, okay? This is... Um, um, like the, the pip, whatever you want to call it, the stalk part. Okay, and around the stalk goes these number number fours. See that number there? Okay. So uh, they'll all fit around there, lovely, and they're all the same. Those number fours. Also got the opposite piece to this, which is the bit that. Divot, divots in slightly you can see that divoting in and these are numbers these are number six so you can spot them a mile off because they've got this little piece that falls away okay so these and these and these are really big you can't miss these compared to the others they're just so much bigger okay so we haven't got a problem with any of these these are all easy to recognize and then we've got these other smaller triangles these ones here are um this is number ones okay um and these will go in anyway okay doesn't matter whereas we've also got number twos here these are bigger 
okay and um, these will only go in one way now the real difficulty is you've got three here um, number threes these are three number threes and three number fives now and if you look at them pretty much they look exactly the same okay but they're not they won't get they won't go in correctly they've got to go in the right place on what I call the bottom layer which is with the beast, beast with this there's going to be two of these number fours there'll be a number three and a number five on the bottom layer also there'll be um, two of the two of these big triangles okay and one of these little triangles and on the top layer the last layer you can have two of the smaller triangles you'll have two of the sixes um, one of the fives and one of the threes which leaves the middle second layer okay which you can have one number four one number five um, one number six and one number three so you shouldn't have any problem finding out where any of these pieces go or these pieces it's just your threes and your fives we're probably going to have issue with um, but as you can see there's only six of them so it's trial and error chances are you're going to pick the right one if you've got the wrong the right the wrong one try it one way around try it the other way around if it doesn't go pick another one or try and find another one and uh, by trial and error you should get there